This is Ollie the Eagle Owl. This is a gentleman of 103 years old holding one of our snakes. And this is a photo from one of the recent photo shoots we just did. Welcome to Owl Diary number 48. So it's a bit of a wet Sunday morning. I thought that's a good day to film the Owl Diary, or at least the first part of it. And it is often the case that we have a wet day and we can't fly the birds outside. Though hopefully later on it'll clear and we might get some flying done. Though of course, bird flu is around, so we've been very careful about what we fly, when we fly them and where we fly them. So we've been doing a lot of flying indoors recently and that's partly due to the school visits and the care homes. We've been doing loads of care homes. And in fact, here's a, an exclusive clip, you could say, of myself in a care home and a big snake. So this is Boris the Boa, he's 10 years old, he's a bigger snake, he weighs about 6 kilos and he's about 6 foot long, nice and chunky. Now when it comes to snake handling we don't want to have anything more than about 8 feet long because then they start to become very difficult to handle and you tend to need more than one person to handle it um, really or at least have someone else on standby just in case the snake panics and wraps around you too tight. But even if he did that he's not quite that powerful, I would be able to control him. I remember sitting on a boa that was a lot bigger than this, and I mean sitting on it, because it, and it was moving underneath me, that was a, a zoo place, they wanted some help once. Yeah. Now snakes come in mainly two categories, one are venomous snakes, the other are constrictors, he is a constrictor. So rather than using a venom to kill its prey, it would strike little fangs to hook on, wrap around and squeeze. And this is how they catch their prey. We've been on large rats, mostly, occasionally a quail or even a small rabbit, but mostly rats. We've been getting some really good responses from the care homes. We've definitely found that enriching the lives of the elderly has been a great thing and they've really enjoyed it. With Gizmo just now, just walking around, just checking on the birds on this wet day. And uh, we'll do some weighing soon and a bit of cleaning and things like that. Clean the boxes out, make sure they're really clean and shiny, ready for the next week ahead. Because I've got lots more of these indoor events going on. You can hear the barn owl screeching next door because I'm talking and it's saying, come on. Give me some attention, please. Now, our aviaries are fully covered there, which is what we have to do anyway with the bird flu, which I mentioned earlier. And I'll do a video on the bird flu, actually, very soon about what it is, how we protect our birds, and how we quarantine our rescue birds that come in from the wild. And I'll try and get that done in the next week or two. But I thought I'd quickly fill you in on my vehicle issues. So about five or six weeks ago, I was on the way back from London and I broke down on the side of the A1 motorway. It then had to be transported by the police or the highways agency off the road while I wasn't there. I then picked it up from a depot, took it to a garage. They said, ah, yes, timing belt's gone. Gone off like a bomb in the engine. So, had that transported back home again. That's already then cost me hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. I had to hire a van to cover the work we had at the end of October there. And then I bought a new one. So for a while, I had two of them outside my house, one that worked and one that didn't. The older one has now gone off to have a new engine fitted and I now need to sell the new one. So we've had a bit of a palaver with the vehicles recently, which would have been better to not have. But these things do happen and it's not going to affect us too much. So we're okay. The birds are okay. Gizmo is absolutely fine. Oh, in fact, this reminds me. Um, Willow, our pygmy owl, who's smaller than Gizmo. A lady came up to our display in York recently, saw the bird and said, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm going to cry. And then she cried quite a lot. So I thought I'd end this episode of The Owl Diary with a quick update on our exotic animals. That's the reptiles that we keep. And I'm now in our snake room, if you like. We did have them in an outdoor shed, which was insulated, built by ourselves just about a year ago. And it started to spring a leak. In fact, it's had a problem for quite a while. And the water wasn't coming in from the roof. 
and I don't even know where it is coming from because we've sealed it all up and yet still if it rains heavily it's like a small swimming pool in there so we've had to take them out of there and put them in here and this is far far better for their health because it's dry in here we can control the humidity levels really well we it's easy to keep them clean so this is where we've got them now so currently we have Donatello the tortoise in the table here and we get him out and he walks around the house quite a bit we also have the snake so currently we have got Rodney the corn snake he's in here at the minute hiding he's in shed as it were preparing to shed his skin we also have Bruce, our carpet python, in this one down here, and he loves his water. So we intermittently give him this bath where he submerges himself for a number of days. He just absolutely loves his water. And in the very bottom, we have Boris, the big one. That's the boa constrictor. He's over 10 years old now, having for some years. He did have, if you did watch our old owl diaries from last year, a chest infection, which we gave him some antibiotics. We got from the specialist vets and we had to try a couple of different antibiotics and eventually with that plus the humidifier to put some F10 into the atmosphere for him, it seemed to clear. Earlier this year, he wasn't really eating until recently and he started eating again after months off. He's put some weight on, he looks healthier and we're really, really pleased with him. We've even now taken him back out to a couple of events, including one of the care homes just yesterday actually, where you can see here, people enjoying holding him and having that bit of an experience with him as well. He's a really friendly snake. I hope you've enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here at Owl Adventures.